All right, so guys, I uh, actually book up the video here some months ago. Uh, it's titled Arriving in Jamaica's Capital City Beyond Dangerous. Um, Indigo Traveler is the name of the channel. Him, him basically go around um, predominantly black countries and paint this kind of picture of, of the country. Right? They don't really go in the, in the, um, the nice looking places. They might go in the worst possible places to to go on a view. So this is how him eat film food by creating a negative picture. A smear campaign. That's yeah. what I would call it. Yeah man. Alright, so actually this video as we said we book it up from about December and it was so ironic because at the time we had met some subscribers of ours, they actually came to our um Airbnb. Airbnb yeah. Right? They are they were basically coming back to Jamaica for like um the first time since like the the eighties or some some long time, you know? Yeah. And Persons always dissuade them from coming back to Jamaica, but they actually come and they really love it here in Jamaica, you know, and yeah. they say they want to come more often and all of that. So, so other stuff that people were, um, that people told them, basically, when they came, they saw for themselves, they were like, yeah, I nice, see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. So it's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Adrian was the one that brought this video to my attention. So we were together, he was watching this video and then we both kind of started to zoom in when we heard the conversation mm -hmm. and when I saw the thumbnail yeah. and the title. I was like, yeah. really? What's going on here? What we don't know about? Mm -hmm. So we'll be reacting to this video right now, alright? Yeah, here we go. What's your name, Rickard? Yeah. Donan. Your workshop's all flooded, yes, sir. Yes, we want to repair it. I need to repair it. I wish part of Jamaica this. Look like I probably some part of River Tanar. I'm not. I'm Some not even place. sure, but mm -hmm. his workshop yeah. is flooded. A tire shop, this. In tire shop. Um. Yeah, let's go on. Let's go on. Go on, pre. Yeah, go on, pre. But I'm just still going. I can't. I can't make that stop me. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's just mosquitoes everywhere. You come to a place like this, and people are just scrambling through the dump. And up. a lot of the let's pause. Yeah. So Jamaica has. A River Town. Everybody yeah. has Jamaican more River Town. It's a landfill. So the man literally yes. go to a landfill to say it is Jamaica. So this is where all the garbage from I think from from, from Kingston and St. Andrew, I think mm. probably from Portmore too. Yeah. So it's one one of the biggest Landfills. dump sites yeah. or mm -hmm. landfills. Basically garbage is collected from everywhere mm -hmm. in Jamaica. Well, not everywhere in Jamaica, but a lot of places and carried here. Yep. And they sort through it at this point mm -hmm. is a landfill. Yeah. It's a river town dump. Yeah. Because Jamaica we, we are we are not a a culture big on recycling so um Garbage is not sorted from the home, so it's dumped here and then after no persons go through and them salvage um, what they can salvage and um, yeah, but He's saying this is Jamaica. Well, it is but it's a landfill. It's a dump. I <laughs> it's mean, a like, dump. you know, so he's painting the picture as if um, You know the people of Jamaica. This is the situation that they are in. Mm -hmm. This is the life that they are living. Yeah, this gets recycled. We've met a local, he lives, makes his money off the dump here. So all these electronics here is hooked up to cameras out on the street. You can see when police or other gang members are here. You have to have the camera set up yeah. so you can see what's happening. Yeah. It's very dangerous. Yeah. Here on the top of the gang tree members, the eh? camera. Another one here. And let me guess, you got those in the dump? Yeah. Good morning! Good morning. How are you? So me I say, so like the man have him cameras, security cameras, like everybody with a rich poor in between them supposed to have them security cameras. There are persons who want to have security cameras, you know? Yeah, so right there now, girl I come through. How are you? I'm fine. You can see there's been thing. hurricanes here lately. The bed and the water is just completely flooded. So we start recap and go up there. Go chop car man choose there. So we're coming to one of the buildings, well, local gang. Guys, I can walk in front so I can yeah, film. Yeah, I always offend the artist too. Not get them on camera, obviously. Jamaica, music, music beaches, beaches and gang violence. Govern Jamaica, music, beaches and gang violence. That's all these, these white YouTubers come to the black countries and say this is all we are. Music, beach, gang violence. So what about the professionals that live in the countries? What about the persons that have um, positive influence outside of the arts? We have... We don't have no brain. We have you almost know? 3 million people in Jamaica. Almost 3 million people living in Jamaica. And 
the people who are involved in gang violence is like less than it's probably one to two percent so jamaica is not only music beaches and gang violence mm, jamaica is that. everything jamaica is athletics yeah. jamaica is brains jamaica is creativity jamaica is its people and its vibration is a reason why them say vibration when you come to jamaica yeah when you come to jamaica the people them nice don't you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. government of jamaica decreed a state of public emergency to combat rising violence it seems to have a split reputation i've always wondered what jamaica is actually like like on the ground. Jamaica has an astronomically high murder rate in some of the most dangerous neighborhoods in the world. That's, Let's that's see what it's fun. like for ourselves, shall we? Basically, his video is centered around, to me, based on what I see, the Riverton dump and one or two like the the, the, the the most dilapidated um communities exactly and basically that riverton dump river is inside a riverton community too you know are surrounded by it from what we're seeing yeah. here still echoing out around the city as darkness falls hey, one thing when them are skill you know put no we tell a story based on way more you know the introduction yeah the introduction hello so and welcome far, to a very hot and sunny jamaica sides. here today we're Depressing. actually heading to trivoli gardens which is one of the most notorious neighborhoods in the whole of jamaica here we are in the capital city here of kingston this neighborhood is famous for like turf rivalries gang wars jamaica actually has one of the highest murder rates per capita in the whole of the world <laughs> it's a guess, I'm just for the popcorn for that one. Lady, lady, lady. All right, so some popcorn. We continue. People, and obviously there's so many layers to that. So let's go and see if we can uncover some of those layers today. Mm -hmm. He's on. <clears throat> He's uncovering layers, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the layers. <laughs> so we've just stopped here because a woman has been shot in the street up above here ahead and it's full oh, crime wow. scene and police line do not cross and everything. You can see up there, I don't know if you can make it mm. out, but there's a guy in a white suit who's just cleaning up the scene of the crime. This is a current market guys. Don't here. So we're here with Kevin and Kevin's looking after me whilst I'm here in Jamaica and this is quite the way to start the time here, eh? So this is a daily occurrence in Kingston, just murders every day. Don't go Kingston. And you're just you're used to this. Yes. Yeah. Kevin, you have how much MP have to do this? Anyway, we'll continue. I mean, if you read a volatile area oh, yeah. that is so dangerous, mm -hmm. you carrying a stranger into video. What's wait, happening? Wait, wait. Residents of downtown were shaken with fear as the security forces moved their way into sections of Tivoli Gardens. These were the armed forces the head and the Coast Guard patrolled the waters. The sound of gunfire was dangerously close. The media was not allowed to go any closer. Reports were that the armed forces had launched an air attack Several women seeing they were Tivoli residents called our news center expressing fear. A Tivoli incursion, something this, you know. I can hear the gunshot directly. I want to reach the building, each house is in Tivoli, and directly shooting at them. So, we got two guys there. So, just to be clear, the footage that was shown before was over 14 years ago, or 13 plus years ago. So this is not the current situation in Jamaica. Mm. And I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. that a police can drive into Tivoli right now yep. with the regular police car that they would normally have. Driving up and down in a Tivoli. Yep. So. Yeah, this one has like a big Gucci bag around his shoulder and then. Mm -hmm. and both smoking weed. Straight gangsters. Smoking yeah, weed. One of the guys that. Smoking weed, a straight gangster. You hear, you hear them 
think about 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 us. Cause you have smoke with your straight gangster. No, but let's 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 be one. Let's let's get something clear. You went to <laughs> a supposed gang member. <laughs> you went to supposedly somebody who is a criminal in Jamaica. You didn't go to Jamaica. You went to that particular person mm -hmm. for him to show you something for your video. Let's just get that clear. Rolls the area. Can't put him on camera, but we're behind the buildings. You can see that we had to go past the crime scene to get here. And now he's <laughs> to back of these buildings and he's the crime like scene. Eh? These drain pipes. So basically, it's really tightly controlled and I'm quite tense. Would you mind just giving us a quick explanation about this neighborhood? Over the years, it has been run by. I won the family. Youngsters. Was Dodos, who we call him president, he has mm -hmm. been extradited to the US, he's mm -hmm. sentenced now, and serving it this time. Mm -hmm. This coat, one of the world's most notorious drug traffickers. Dozens of deaths at the hands of the security forces. And turned us the unenviable label as one of the murder capitals of the world. All because of one man. And for Kingston's garrison communities, the economy was increasingly... Dumb. But this is so funny. All of this is 14 years ago. And him come to Tivoli today. Well, 2023. 2023 sometime. Late 2023. And he's presenting this video. 10 years ago to you. On, to, to, to everybody on YouTube. Yeah. So basically he's presenting 2010 mm -hmm. in 2023. Mm -hmm. Just to get that clear. He's not presenting the current state of Tivoli right now. Yeah. He's presenting what happened in 2010. Which is a extraordinary mm -hmm. circumstance right right mm -hmm. extraordinary circumstance not by the least is something that happened regularly in jamaica is extraordinary that's why it was blown <laughs> that's why persons view it as just a dramatic thing happening right mm -hmm. by drugs in this environment the most ruthless would prevail for expanding its drugs empire into north america and europe so when the leader of this area was running it before you got extradited to the U.S., it was in much better condition. You wouldn't have this sewage overflow and people were better taken care of, apparently. <laughs> we come into one of the buildings that you've seen. The people take care of them place better though, that's, that's for sure though. The garbage is there. I can walk in front. 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 Oh really? Yeah, and I was in England. Mm -hmm. This neighborhood here, Tivoli Gardens, have you lived here your whole life? Yeah, Tivoli Gardens is a nice place. How has it changed over the years? For better a nice or place. worse? Well, it's when it done this year, the place was more perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. You understand me? Yeah. But it's not here now, so we have to make it perfect yeah. as well. When the president was here? Yeah, when the president. Right. So we have to see to it that everything is copacetic indeed. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Is that difficult? It's very difficult. You yeah. think the governments are doing an okay job? Yeah, they're doing a fantastic job. We don't see the bad at you. Okay. So yeah. you're you're a positive man, right? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. don't see the bad at you. But everything all right. Really. Okay. Yeah, man. Everything all right. Right. Thank you so much, yeah, Leroy. Yeah, man, I right. appreciate your time. This water here is sewage yeah, yeah, yeah. because the families are growing. You know, the sewage system's overwhelmed. Every him just go find all segment of dirty water. I highlight it. <laughs> but that be see. That be that be see him do. Like we should do a, like a little, a little thing to drive through. We see almost dirty water. We see if really, water, yeah. like a little drive through. To exactly, Italy. exactly. Or is it just what he <laughs> sought to video? Thank you to allow us to come in here. She doesn't want to be on camera, but right, nice place. I'll say so too. Okay. Right. You say so too? Oh, nice. nice place. Mm -hmm. And here's a view out the back. Mm -hmm. So over in that direction was where we saw the crime scene. I mean, Kingston is a beautiful city. It's nestled amongst these mountains here and obviously the Caribbean Sea at the bottom. But it really is quite tense. Tense? Why not that? Why not that tense? Like when you feel, you feel it? You, you feel it? It's, you it's tense. I mean, you're showing video from 2010. Uh, uh, one murder scene, and you say the whole of Kingston is tense. tense. Like, get away, yourself. <laughs> yeah. 
So we're going to look at the dump, the landfill now. Now he's at Uber's hand up. Okay, so we've come to Riverton Dump, which is the biggest dump in all of Jamaica. The reason we wanted to come here is because it's a really good illustration of, you know, people fighting to make money here. Jamaica has been one of the most expensive countries I've been to in the world. Mm -hmm. And that's the duration, the accommodation and the food. He said a pretty good idea mm -hmm. of how people struggle to make money. Mm -hmm. That is not a pretty good idea of how people struggle to make money in Jamaica. <laughs> Most so persons in Jamaica don't do this. Plus, this is a small proportion of people that do this. Plus, yes, this is big business. And this is profitable. I was about mm -hmm. to say that too. Yeah. If they were making money off of this dump, yeah. they wouldn't be in the dump. These are people who are getting stuff from the dump that they can reuse mm -hmm. and resell. Mm -hmm. And recycle. Uh, and recycle. Mm -hmm. Them people here make them money. Yep. Right? So this is a small proportion of people who do this. Not everybody in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows the Jamaicans have them way of hustling. We call them hustlers. They go around here making money. Not everybody does this. Yeah. If you, if you want to talk about everybody doing this and if you talk about the, <laughs> the laborers them. People them who work on construction site, mm -hmm. the vendors. Yeah. You need to talk about the people them who they on social media make them money. Even the future, people, none of them then. None of those. Mm -hmm. Enough people, enough different ways. People don't yeah, make them money in different Car ways. People. Most people don't do this exactly. to make money. What exactly. are you talking about? It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Even see him um, downtown that he was before. The people them push together and hustle and I sell them clothes and them stuff there. If he had gone to the vendors and say this is how we make our money selling producing yeah, furniture yeah, market yeah. this is how we make our money mm -hmm. um, selling our goods on the street mm -hmm. but you went to Riverton Dump mm -hmm. and said this is how people make money as if this is how Jamaica is down here making money oh my sorry mm -mm -mm. no come back no. here brother Go on. Falls, you're creating a false narrative. It's quite expensive, so obviously when you have that mixed in with poverty, when it's expensive even for tourists, you come mm -hmm. to a place like this and people are just scrambling through the dump and a lot of this gets recycled. We've met a local guy, I'll introduce you to him, and he lives, makes his money off the dump here. You can obviously see the A big business, place, brother! Things that you can't see or feel. All the heavy metal, copper, all of them stuff there, glass, plastics, a big business. What do you mean? A lot of times, people. What do you mean? The reason why they're there is that they are taking stuff out of the garbage that mm. people throw away that are reusable. But them. yeah, they sell them the for money. The smell and the heat. This is some people's <laughs> daily office. You know, they come here every day, day in, day out, seven days a week. Just it's a dumb bread. What do you expect? Money from scraps of plastic and what people really want to find is copper. Copper that is how Jamaicans make money. Mm -hmm. like this, That's how all of us live down here. That's what it takes to, mm -hmm. to, to survive in this country. Mm -hmm. If you choose to, a, a money is a big money industry. And people choose to do it and, and make a good living out of it. That's all it is. It's well, not Rick everybody. This is the smallest it's minority. Film the fire. Film the fire. That's all about fire down here every day. Yeah, man. Watch out. A river down there, man. Get the wild and can't tell me. You say, boy, I'm telling you about them. Yeah, man. Watch out. I'm trying to tell you the different now. Yeah, man. Watch out. Government is not a fool, you know. Yeah, man. What do you do? Stay. 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 We want to burn out in the ghetto, you see me? Yes, sir. Now, where are you about? Holy fucking water. Holy fucking water. We want airboat. They want to give you airboat, my friend. One thing, you know, Jamaica love the video light, you know. One thing, when the Jamaica love the video light. In Riverton, you know, the city. I go to my car, you see? Yeah, but yeah, you have your gas pool too. Yes, mm -hmm. Look behind him. He's saying that. You see the metal? Mm -hmm. Right. Copper and Copper and, yeah. and all those stuff. Sell them up. That's all. They basically survive. Uh -huh. The scrap metal is big money. For, for, for them. Uh -huh. The community is very violent. Violent? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's violent right here. It's a very violent. That's all the more you know, say violent, you know. Scrap metal, probably. I'm going to chat with another violent. I'm going to tell you the truth. Uh, get to this. Can't run from it. Can't escape it. You see it? Let me take it to a barn and grow and see them here now. 
Yeah. It's safe with the love them here. Probably some other go. If it wasn't for the scrap metal and the dumb, there would be a lot of violence, gunshots, badness, killings. But them say there's already gunshots and violence and killings. Crime, and so they can get scrap metal. I bet get a good PA there. Like Those guys. <laughs> oh, I wonder how him feel watching about this video. I hope you get a good PA there. To get extra money. Because I'm glad I'm going to get most money. <laughs> Yeah, even the government rubbish truck workers yeah. look through the rubbish as well, yeah. and then they make money yeah. from that. So the Everybody. government workers sell these guys scrap and then they resell it again. Yeah. So these guys have just been telling me that Indian recycling experts and scrap metal experts come over here and teach these guys like the basics of you know what what's the best metal to recycle and things. And then you're saying that the uh, the government, government come yeah. in, uh, they well already caught up in them system, you know, <coughs> from a younger age, you know, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> they already divide and rule. And try to separate from each other, you see it? Yeah. So you see, when you see certain things go under the ghetto, and I just, and I just surprised, and I just, and I, and I, and I, and I just hurt myself. Yeah, something more, where, 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 where the government them be already building at the youth, them. Yeah, for fight against one another. So you say, whenever they do this, oh God, man, friends could have been my friend. When the government realized that this is very profitable, they're bringing re regulations, policies, and license and give their big guy friends <laughs> to control the scrap metal market. These guys figured out how it works and then the government realized that there's money in it yeah. so they come along and they give contracts to their rich friends yes. and then they take the money and put these guys out of work yeah. even though they <laughs> discovered how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking Man, get all actors <laughs> shoot put into B roll. It doesn't mind you, just go walk down there. So, go walk down there slow up and make a capture you. We don't drop it on my thing. I'm going to get $50. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. We're going to get no money. Auntie. Good day. Auntie. Hey. Yes, Auntie. And you live here? Yes, we live in this swamp that you see here. Is there flooding from Friday? Um, it's been weeks. Weeks, buddy. Weeks. As we oh, not a rain of all. Even inside the household as well. Am I coming inside? Oh, sure. Thank you. you I'll follow you. We've been in canes here lately and it's completely flooded. Mm -hmm. I don't know where this is. I think I'm probably near Riverton. Somewhere near there. I think so. So you can see right there the bed mm -hmm. and the water is just completely flooded. The infrastructure in Kingston is not the best, so the drains don't really serve well. Interesting considering there's so many hurricanes around here. Kingston is not just this community. So, seriously, and do you catch the fish? Small fishes, very small fishes. Can you eat? No, no. No eating? Pet fishes, science, uh, pet fishes. And is there malaria from the mosquitoes? Yeah. Or? A lot of baby mosquitoes in the Yeah, yeah. So there's still malaria. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My poor red nappy play more right throughout the video. Not really. How is life here? Life? Yeah. Life is always like the same. You really can see what you want to do. What would you like to happen? Would you like the government to come and help mm -hmm. with drains and things? That would be very, very good because we're not the only ones suffering from this. Right. Mm -hmm. That would be great. You would appreciate it. I would appreciate it. And so, do you still sleep uh, in that bed on yes, the we have to, we have no on the water? <laughs> and you must get quite sick from that, right? Like, because of the damp and the cold, you must get like sick. Yeah, baby, sick couple of times, but you know, like work on the cold now and again. I get a little DPH at the shop and whatever, and try to fight it sometimes. Mm. Do you get your baby uh, sleeps with you? <laughs> yeah, she does. Uh huh. So basically, so when we were, I I get the impression as if. Especially from this lady right here. Yep. So Bobby said, Oh, I could show the people them with the camera so that they can help mm. us. There's no help coming, sis. They're just exploiting you. Yeah, it's just, it just exploitation. There's no help coming. It must I use this just for, for we are we paint make, it as this is the situation happening in Jamaica. They can't make a YouTube check. But we all know different that this is not the situation happening in totality. Yeah. There is, this is not to say that this does not happen. Mm -hmm. People don't experience flooding. Yep. That there aren't situations <laughs> that persons would be uncomfortable with. This is not to say that persons don't go and um, forage, forage through Riverton Dump 
to to find valuables. They are finding valuables. They're not finding nothing without value. They're finding mm. things with value there. But the the ratio of people who actually do this compared to the rest of Jamaica, compared to Kingston, is extremely small. small yeah. And the back of that place there with the girl and the flooded bedroom. Uh, when we came back out, we saw uh, two police officers in a, a plain car with uh, bulletproof vests on and pistols like in their holsters. And uh, we came out and they were just leaving and we uh, got approached by the first guy we were talking to, the really passionate one, and he was telling us that they came and this is common, they come in according to him, harass the guys and look for drugs and guns. Pretty hostile area actually. But if, if, but if police is there doing their jobs, so what do you suggest that the police not turn up come around? What a talented I want to get there. 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 I want to Typical survival, you know? You know, making a living for yourself, that's what that's all it is. So he's, 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 he's making the a living. For the <laughs> and his whole workshop is flooded, so he's bringing his tools out on the road here. So your workshop's all flooded, yeah, sir? Yeah, we're about to repair it, I need to repair it. But I put a still more, I can't, I can't make that stop me. And then I said, I wait till somebody to come and help me. He needs help. For the shop. Here. You want brother, brother. Now no come from him, he might exploit your brother. And you sell yourself and your country, your people, him cheap. Cheap, 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 brother. I wonder how much of the money that the 1.5 million views mm -hmm. that he made depicting Jamaica like this. Yeah. I wonder how much of the money did he actually take from the profits and help the lady with our flooded roof, mm -hmm. help this man with him tire shop problem, yeah. and help the people them who in a river and dump where him say, mm -hmm. them living this deplorable lifestyle. <laughs> I wonder how much money he actually came back exactly. and spread to them. Exactly. He wants it to be repaired, but he doesn't let that stop him from working. Right. Because even though he needs help, the people in the community need more help than him. Yeah, that's right? And he, he works and help a lot of persons. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because persons come to him and ask him for, for cash yeah. to buy food. And he's one of the persons here who works honest yeah. and hard. So he basically help them to everyone. One thing you know man, a straight slum the man I show in him video you know man and say this is Jamaica. This could be this yeah. is a yeah. film yeah. in one yeah. little area. Yeah. That's why I'm a one logo. little area in Kingston. Yeah. It's not a vast area in going on. He never got Kingston and Mobay and St. Thomas and he never he never got in the depth of Jamaica. He went into Riverton, Tivoli. And a little Spanish stone road section there? Yeah. And they that's all. Morning. That's all. That's all. You have to big up a word of Maya and a couple other big prominent YouTubers when I say, come on, I said, this is the Jamaica that they don't want you to see. Because people like you him know? come and they get 1.5 million views out of a negative video like this. Mm -hmm. And when you highlight Jamaica in its full beauty with the people and. Thank you, baby. <laughs> and everything. Almost million views them video they get. People them like video negative, they now get the one point five million views. People mm -hmm. gravitate so much towards this towards negativity that it's so shocking that people like him because when we score his YouTube channel, this is what he does. He goes around and he, he the presents black countries. He presents this country in the dimmest of lights. Yeah, so when, when we did our, you know, our preview, when we looked at the videos on his channel, these are the videos that he presented mm -hmm. of every country that he went to. Predominantly, black countries. 
painting this dim, dismal light of a country where the people is suffering, yeah. rejected, poor government, violence, and they're dying. Uh, you're uh, doing scrap metal yeah. and you're stripping down cars, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you, you've lived here for 17 years. Yeah. Before we saw uh, police pull up with guns, right? Yeah. What were they doing? All right. People call them and I tell them to them have gun. So uh, that's why they come out <laughs> in a private car and hold them. Who, them. who calls them? I'm um, like a person in a community. So nobody know who, who you know. But the police alone know who. So they must tell them, say, yo, a people call you, you know, because they say, you know, walk up and down with guns. So that's why they jump out in a private vehicle. So basically, so basically, what you say is, when they come out of the community and it brings insight into where he is, mm -hmm. he's still in Riverton. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, say when you come out of the community and you talk about the police, them and them vests and them on my car, that they actually got information mm -hmm. that men are there with guns. Probably the man, them, you are walking with the gun, them, men, you know. <laughs> Probably they are not permanently here and the people them feel threatened because the man, them are walking with gun with you. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. But them come doing them job. So you highlighting their presence as this thing. thing. You don't want the police presence there. But the innocent people in the community want the police presence there. Weird. Really? Mm -hmm. This is your yard? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, the place, the place, the bad brother, you know, it's the brother, you can't, you can't sweep out the place, brother. Are you gonna you can't microwave? sweep out the place. Yeah. He can do better if you have a house himself, then you can fix him house. You can fix him floor. You can fix the roof of your house. Ambition. Yeah. A true man. Ambition. Papa bed for sleep, and you can go up close and trust one bed. Only. Uh, down here, so. Okay. Yeah, only down here. So, <laughs> so you've insulated it so the bed yeah. stays dry. And did you get this fan here from the dump? Yeah. Wow. People always throwing away <laughs> things yeah. that work, right? Yeah. So yeah, you got yeah. all this TV this from the dump. Big business. Wow. Wow. What do you normally eat for dinner? Fried chicken, curry, what? Good food. Good food. Good food. Fried chicken, and what? Where are you eating that? Curry, curry goat. goat. <laughs> you know, I must have pound for curry goat. <laughs> what now? You must have pound. <laughs> hmm? You eat your own pigs? Yeah. You get high on your own supply? Yeah, that's like, right. It's my birthday. Oh, special occasion. Yeah. Does this TV work? Yeah. Like Monitor. Oh, so you have a security camera? Yeah. yeah. Why do you have that? If somebody a beat them, we get like, say, yo, them say police. police. Mm-hmm. We can look for my camera and say, yo, a police out there. Or if not a man a beat them, we get to say police, we may pull the gate. <laughs> and them shot me up or do something. Because over here and people over here, but then, no worry. In a war. So, yeah, oh, so this is not river town. So this is one of the nearby yeah, community. Mm. Yeah. It's very dangerous. Yeah. Really. But now, we and them over there, we and them are right. We can go over there. Them mm -hmm. oh, okay. So it yeah. separates the. Yeah. Okay, and at the moment it's peace. Yeah. But some, know, yeah. sometimes it's not. Yeah. It's okay. Sometimes it's war, it's shooting. War. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's your cousin. Yeah. See him there. He's dead. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Then, Things go on from time to time, and I know a doubt about that. A war. In the war. Oh, so he was in the wrong side. Yeah. And he was on his bike. Yeah. And they shot him yeah. on his bike. When did that happen? Um. Last year. Last year. Yeah. Last year. Cause it was 2023. This shoot. Riverton area, that's all in focus, man. Riverton area. All these electronics here, monitor, DVD player, and everything, is hooked up to cameras out on the street. Okay, you can see when police or other gang members are here, so he can prepare himself. Absolutely fascinating. He has a little security system set up to protect himself because it's quite hostile neighborhood here. Here on the top of the trees. Even the most affluent area, them set up security camera for protect themselves to see him. What are you saying? We are saying. The camera he was speaking about, so you can see what's going on in the street. Another one here. You might improvise. Yeah. I'm on finding camera. They want to make him own a security yeah. system. I think that he's that. That's really, that's really good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. You might want to know if you have security camera. That's really good. More better. They want to. They can't deal with people so aggressive. They won't not. Our push. 
I just keep it going. Really? Keep going to get. Yeah, Do you yeah. think that they abuse their power? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that the motor. You were saying in the more expensive neighborhoods yeah. that they go and they knock on the door yeah. and then they show them they have a warrant and yeah. then they peacefully enter, but here they yeah. just kick the door yeah, down. So you feel like you don't have any rights here. Oh. So sometimes when the police come here and they arrest people, they take them to prison and yeah. they have to release them within 72 hours if they don't have proof of crime. But sometimes they keep the guys from the ghetto for like over 100 days. But if it's somebody me. from a rich neighborhood who's committed a crime, they'll release them in like a day or two because obviously... The state of emergency thing they do, you know? It's true. Oh, um, jail. Jail, yeah. Jail, that's sure you did. They took you to jail for three days? Yeah. So you can see here these jumping cables for the batteries and there's obviously copper connected to them and then they burn it off. You can see here there's like micro pieces of copper here and they'll sell that. How much money can you make a day on a good day? Alright, what I say is five dollars a dollar. Sometimes I come out and they have a hundred dollars, they have a hundred or a fifty dollar jump here. Really? And the life thousand jump. So it vary from like it varies from like fifty dollars to mm -hmm. less than a dollar. So I mean, it a good is a good living still, you know. He can do better for himself, obviously, you know. Like, is that good for uh, like looking after yourself and no. food, or is no, it? No, my mother is saying, when me go and get that now, me go over, me give my baby mother four thousand dollars. Me have thousand dollars left to buy. Like, so you give to your daughter's mother four thousand and yeah. you're left with one thousand. One. Yeah, so I'm right. have put one now to not buy. Me have to buy a weed. So you have to carry your picnic. Mm -hmm. Or oh, the little. Right. Or I'm going to buy something for drink. Yeah, the wire them oh, expensive. expensive. Yeah, yeah. top and night. how much would the whole line be worth? Six hundred dollars. Six hundred? Yeah. When you put a bag on it now, can you give me it's a, a landfill. Yeah. Even the most affluent place, we got like a Nantucket. A Nantucket of landfill where the Americans them come and them them they, they, them them scavenge through the thing them take out the thing them were good, put them for yeah. resell, you know. It's just that over there they have different. a more established recycle system. Yeah, so yeah. You have, for example, if you have all of your plastics and all of your metals and stuff like that. But in Jamaica we don't have recycle officially yet, but there yeah. are some communities like our communities I actually then put up a recycle um bin where you put all of your plastics in and stuff like that. But I mean the point that we're trying to make, you know, is that not that this is fake. Yeah. They is actually talking to people, yeah. but you're talking to less than one percent of the Jamaican population. Mm -hmm. You just don't circle a little community. He never even say him go in a Denham town. Yeah. Him go in a Tivoli. Mm -hmm. Him go a Spanish Town Road. Him go a Coronation Market. Him go up a Red Hills. Him not even circle the entire yeah. eastern but part of Kingston. He went into one community, yeah. and that is Riverton and yeah. the community near to Riverton. Mm. He must have placed him drive past, coming from the airport. So. Most of the time, these person, them, them travel from Montego Bay, right? Come from Montego Bay, you drive past all of them nice places, they all the waterways, all them places, you drive past all of that, and you come right down here from turning camera right down a little small subset here. I wish so we could go down there, right at Riverton, there, so. Mm -hmm. And just do a drone footage, mm -hmm. a true drone footage of the community in fast, the entire area in fast motion. Mm -hmm. So just to let you know that he really zeroed in on one single area. Because you see with my river there, you see if him turn him camera go so, you'd have seen a totally different picture. True. That's why I'm because saying Because Washington that Garden, Washington Garden across the road. And exactly. Yeah. And you see the road where River Tan dumped the pan. You see that road is Spanish Stone Road. You see that road there? Appear businesses and jobs. People yeah. have work on that yeah. road. So yeah. if that young man here Corporate. come out of him little mm. old way in a, yeah. with that bed there where I wet up yeah. and go find a little job, if even a little labor job, he can buy one bed. He mm. can fix up the house there. Mm. So it all depends on what kind of lifestyle you, you want, want to live. live. Yeah, for real. For yeah? real, for real. It, things can be bad, mm -hmm. but that is not Jamaica. I yeah. feel like he, we're almost at the end of the video and I think I've seen basically what he meant to show mm -hmm. this is not Jamaica this is what he meant to mm -hmm. show he meant Can to you? show this uh -huh. yeah, they may are yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
I'm good hustling still, I'm not like when everybody, you mean, design for work in office. I'm good hustling this, we think it can more formalize, yeah, but at least in hustling. Let's work for more return. And these are your pigs. Man, I've all them pig them and them thing there. You know? Yeah, if you pick them, I also be there. I sleep on a bed there. You know, sell one pig and go buy one bed. Buy a bed, brother, true man. You know, sell one pig. And you use the money and, and, and yeah. concrete out yeah, the little room where you know and, and put concrete black on it. Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, this is where you shower. Yeah. You can't do it up himself, man. Yeah. And that's the outlook. I guess it's the outlook. It's his mindset. You know? That's what he wants to live. Because you if you are a pig yeah. farmer, oh, wow. you can use the money. Pig farmers in Jamaica, not all pig farmers are living like this. Pig farmers are making money. Okay was just telling us the separation. The turf area, so on that side's one gang and on this side's another. At the moment, they're in peace. So that's great. Um, but as you can hear, his cousin last year was shot because he was on the other side of the road on his bike. So people from this neighborhood should never go to that neighborhood unless they're in peace. It's uh, pretty wild. In the north, say, I like him there. Remember, say, I feel my own people, them. Throughout history, cause us in the third world to, to, to have this kind of um, crime and violence and all of that. But them now give back to, to us, you know. Him just come now with him camera to make some quick box off of YouTube at our expense. That's all them come do. That's, That's what all. he came to do. Him never show the hotel where him stay, mm -hmm. I know. Him never show the hotel where him stay. Yeah. He never saw the ride from the hotel, he never saw his journey through Kingston because for him to get to this location, he had to drive through Kingston and through other parishes and he never, never showed that. He went to one community and this is what he showed. This is a part of Coronation Market right yeah. there so. Where you can, you can buy your, your grown products, yeah. see my buy him nice jelly and a drink. Mm -hmm. Back this is Kurnisha also a yes. downtown, yeah. So we just come down to the waterfront now here. Tivoli Gardens was very interesting history there with Coke, the guy who was taken to the States by the 15 US years ago. The lady mm. that kindly let us have ago. a look inside her house there. She didn't want to be on camera. Pretty much nobody did in there because they're worried that they're going to get in trouble. And let me just point this there. out. This woman, I live in a Tivoli Garden. And she have couch in her house mm -hmm. with her cushion and pan. She have a center table. Clean and nice. She have her fridge, her house clean. And the other man, the other man, he might live on a dirty bed in a house where he can fix up. Mm -hmm. In a, a yard, a big yard where he can build up a, a, um, a um, black wall for him house. He's raising pigs. He can do better, can do better for, for himself. himself man. He can do better for himself. By whoever, when they were getting coke out of that area. She was talking about what that neighborhood's been through. They are dropping bombs from the helicopter down in the place. What must we do? This 15 years ago. Four, 14 country. years ago. Yeah. And they are dropping bombs in the place because of one man. This is not right. Absolutely insane. And you can feel the atmosphere there. I feel like anything could pop off. I mean, we went past the crime scene. Somebody had been This is not Tivoli Garden, the crime scene there, yeah? So now we've got about an hour and a half drive. We're going to be heading to another neighborhood to have a look at a different side of Kingston. So, this video here, 30 minutes. And right now at the end, about a minute left in the video, I'm going to show another side of Kingston. Majority <laughs> of persons watching this video, they've reached this far and they know this. But I'm just adding this part in it just so that him claim say he might add a little balance but but in one minute how much how much of jamaica are you going to show to add a balance there's no you know. let's see what he's gonna say he's gonna have the hills that's on already done them place there red deals most people already click off of the video brother they already get what they need this is an incredible neighborhood so beautiful you see these houses just looking over the bay area nestled up here in the mountains mm -hmm. so there's the contrast for you right like we saw people literally mm -hmm. living in this place yeah, yeah. today searching through scrap metal these contrasts exist everywhere but i think that they're very interesting polar opposites the extremes of just one city right we have one moment we're walking around with a guy with a gucci bag in the gucci bag yeah. every city i see him we go new york 
New York have slums like this. Mm -hmm. When they go to San Francisco, you have the crooked section there. Yeah, they go all the you see all yeah. no yeah. city around yeah. yeah. the world yeah. have yeah. polar yeah. opposite yeah. same yeah. way. Here's the contrast, Kingston, eh? What an introduction to this fascinating city. And the people are so lovely, and you know, obviously, with the history with the English colony and everything, English is widely, widely spoken. You know, I can understand most things people are saying. They can understand me always. I got a clip of military because the streets are so unstable that they actually have military checkpoints. I didn't get it very clearly, but you can see it. There's just full blown military posts throughout the city. I guess that is like, oh. like, like, well, like, um, Zoos. Zozo. Zozo, yeah. Him, uh, less than a minute, him show up down. Less than a less minute. Than a minute. Then him down again. And he's talking yeah. about polar opposites. Yeah. And I think that, that it can be established that every single country in the world will have uh, yeah. the poorer and, and the, the richer. Rich. Yeah, of course. It's checkpoints. I didn't get it very clearly, but you can see it. There's just full blown military posts throughout the city just because of the violence that's so out of hand. More to come from Jamaica. Violence. Oh, it's on. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, good night. He did a grave injustice in representing Jamaica. Yeah. I am startled that somebody would think to come to Jamaica and produce a video like this. You pay money for fly come out one country and we know same enjoy himself at Jamaica. Ima, 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 and views. this is what you chose yeah. to, to, to present about mm -hmm. Jamaica. This is a one community in a Jamaica. You never even scour the Ola, the Ola downtown. You're not even that, not even the people them downtown. You're not going to the market and show people myself food not, and soup and them things there. Him go to a few people mm -hmm. and a man that we carry him around. Yeah. I mean, I cry shame on you. Yeah. This is true. where I want to represent Jamaica by. Are you this I represent, not, not Jamaica? True, true. You. And the man them where the, the man where with the happen, do better for yourself because you can. You can do better for yourself. So like, ag, you understand? So one of the ag them and buy one bed, brother. Buy one bed. Buy a bed. So one of the ag them and pave off the floor and, and get them. you see the same scrap metal them where you get. You must can get a couple sheet of zinc and, and, and change the, 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 the roof, make the roof stop leak. You get me I say? Buy some sheet of zinc. Or buy some sheet of zinc. So use zinc. Yeah, you know? there's so much. I'm sure say, being a river town, you see all them things they come down there, so you can't take up a few. Mm -hmm. I mean, in conclusion, this man is a fake. <laughs> and anybody who watches this man's videos, you will see from the thumbnail, from the titles, that this is all uh, that he does. Yeah, I'm also this man. This is a theme also. And I think I quite shame on him. Mm -hmm. Because you go into these people's place and you paint this image of them as shameful, um, destitute mm -hmm. and you didn't even represent the people in the truest sense that right. you went to video right, right. and this I wouldn't even call this a good workmanship for somebody who's a youtuber okay. because you didn't you yeah. literally segmented Riverton you didn't even show so that's a uh, yeah uh, 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 pan the uh, camera uh, uh, uh. just uh. even the evil got so and so with a drone footage there you would have shown so much more and people would have seen something different but you zoned but I went in one I went one to see them shame show, yeah? on you anybody who watched this video I hope that you know, send this back to the people them who watch him channel and make them unsubscribe to him he must stop going around the people um, the place and paint these, these, these images of people of black, of black countries yeah when he must say this is how they have to make money I'm like uh? <laughs> how much are we? The people them, me, I, I remember us doing video on a coronation market, raw footage. We never go down there, go scrap out no little footage. We literally show us Everything. walking through the market, yeah. interacting with the people. One of the young man, they want me talk to me, I ask him, so why you choose to come sell down here, so instead of getting on the regular corporate jobs or doing something else in Jamaica? Man said, listen, would I never trade my job, my business? He said, this is not her job, this is my business, and yeah. me, I run my business, yeah, so. And the amount of money when me make off of my business, they can't up. pay me that. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, people have to stop going around portraying these half-cocked ideas that they have in their heads. This is not what he saw in Jamaica. This is what he thought about Jamaica. Yeah. So he and went and, and he, he created a video yes. about Jamaica like this. This is what he thinks of Jamaica, not what Jamaica is. Right. In yeah, conclusion, guys. Let's do good for ourselves. 
let's not make people come around and build to us and in our environment you. and exploit us. Let's do good for ourselves. Yeah. Let's increase our earnings. Let's increase our living conditions. When them come round, then the people that come round with them camera and for run them. They look at fifty dollar, look at hundred dollar with them a gear. For you, for talk bad about your country, it's not worth it. Run them. But sometimes they don't get paid, you know. And yeah. Free footage, you know. Yeah, yeah. Free footage, them mm -hmm. up there make one point five. Just million because, million probably, million they, because they have different skin color than we. Them, them give them privilege for come and, and, them, and you know. And them things, uh, this are actually get them help. Yeah. No help is for coming no, below. No. You have to help yourself. Yeah, man. Yeah, guys. So. Big up on yourself. Big up on the country. And don't make nobody put on the down. Yeah. Yeah man, so guys, let us know what you think down in the comments, alright? So, this is it. We out. Peace.